वेलकम टू माय व्यूज एंड न्यूज अनदर वीडियो फॉर यू फर्स्टली लास्ट मंथ इन द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ अक्टूबर एन आर्म्ड अपोजिशन ग्रुप इन जबूती कैरिड आउट एन अटैक ऑन अ कैंप ऑफ जबूतीज आर्मी ऑन जबूती इथियोपिया बॉर्डर सम सोल्जर्स ऑफ जबूतीज आर्मी वर किल्ड सिक्स वर एबडक्टेड बाय दैट आर्म ग्रुप Since then, Djibouti's government has been trying to secure the release of its soldiers. The group called Fruit F R U D Front for Restoration of Unity and Democracy to release a statement offering to release six Djibouti's soldiers in exchange for the release of some persons. What did the group say? Details for you. Secondly. Tigrinya music, Tigrinya dance were seen in Addis Ababa on Sunday. Very positive uh, development, uh, refreshing to see uh, people dancing in Addis Ababa to Tigrinya music. Details for you. And uh, thirdly, viewers, uh, C C and Erdogan. were seen exchanging salutations uh, in Qatar today where football world cup is being organized cc and uh, erdogan uh, have been critical of each other uh, they have been rivals uh, when it comes to uh, middle eastern politics uh, details for you firstly viewers uh, in october uh, on the 6th of october fruit attacked uh, a military camp of jibouti's army fruit is an opposition armed group in jibouti uh, which was formed uh, uh, several uh, two to three decades ago it launched uh, an armed movement then it turned uh, to political struggle it split into two groups one is a political party in jibouti uh, and the other uh, continued armed resistance against jibouti's government it's uh, an a far uh, armed group uh, members of uh, fruder mainly a fars Uh, fruit attacked jibouti's military base uh, an army camp rather uh, in october some soldiers were killed in that attack jibouti's army soldiers and six were taken prisoner uh, after that we saw that jibouti mobilized its military towards eritrean border towards ethiopian border a top uh, delegation from jibouti visited ethiopia to Uh, since then uh, jibouti has been trying to secure the release of its soldiers where are they no one knows but ford today issued a statement ford says that yes six soldiers of jibouti's army are in the custody of the group but they are safe and uh, geneva convention of 1949 is being observed Uh, so they are being uh, uh, kept as prisoners of war fruit says in the statement secondly uh, fruit says that it has informed some neighboring countries icrc and some powers in jibouti that uh, fruit is ready to release these prisoners in exchange for some prisoners which are in jibouti's prisons it seems that jibouti's uh, that foreign forces in jibouti jibouti has several military bases us has a military base there some other countries too it seems that fruit has informed ethiopia uh, some countries which have bases in jibouti and icrc that fruit is ready to exchange prisoners uh, fruit has shared names of six prisoners who are in its custody secondly what is fruit demanding which people which prisoners uh, should be released uh, in exchange for the release of these six jibouti soldiers 
Freud says that all those people who were arrested uh, and who were accused of having links with Freud must be released. Secondly, political prisoners must be released. Some names have been shared by Freud. Uh, firstly, uh, Barakat Abdul Wahab, uh, Lieutenant uh, Fawad Ali, Hamad Gohar, Abdul Karim Adan Sher, and some others. And thirdly, uh, civilians who were arrested in August last year and in uh, May this year in Balbala, Arheba, and uh, Tabjora should also be released in exchange for the release of these six soldiers of Djibouti's army. Let's see how Djibouti's government responds to this offer by Freud. Uh, Freud is claiming that uh, uh, Ismail Umar, uh, Djibouti's president, and his family are interfering in uh, communal tensions in Ethiopia. I think here Djibouti's uh, uh, president and his family are being accused by Freud of supporting Somali Isas. Uh, between Somali Isas, between Somalis and Afar, we have seen clashes uh, on Somali Afar border in recent days. Here Freud is accusing, Freud is uh, Afar group, it is accusing uh, Ismail Omar of backing Somali groups in the Somali region of Ethiopia. Let's see how Ethiopia, how Djibouti's government respond to this offer by Freud. Secondly, viewers, Tigrania dance, Tigrania music were heard in Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital today. In Addis Ababa, uh, Africa's largest road race was organized today. Uh, it is an annual event, Great Ethiopia Run, 22nd edition of this uh, road race was held in Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital on Sunday, 10 kilometer long race with 40,000 participants. So this is Africa's biggest uh, event in terms of number of participants in a road race. And there uh, people sang to, people danced to Tigrania music. Tigrania music was uh, played. Uh, Ethiopian state media showed people dancing, uh, Tigrania dance, uh, dancing to Tigrania music. So uh, it was very refreshing to see Tigrania music, Tigrania dance on Ethiopian state media. Uh, I think one of the most important points mentioned in Pretoria Agreement was that. Uh, Hate speech must be avoided. The parties will ensure that uh, no hate speech is spread. And Ethiopian government uh, has respected that clause. We have not seen any hate speech from Ethiopian state media since the signing of the Pretoria Agreement. Same is the case uh, uh, from Tigray side, largely, largely I would say, though some uh, times Tigray officials use strong language uh, and uh, Tigray media too. But Ethiopian media, state media behave very responsibly uh, since the signing of the agreement. Uh, we have not seen any message, any post, any video, any picture uh, which could be seen as hate speech against TPLF. Watch a clip showing people dancing in Addis Ababa during Great Ethiopia Run held on Sunday. <laughs> Lastly, viewers, uh, football World Cup uh, underway in uh, Qatar. It kicked off today. Qatar has lost its first match to Ecuador. Ecuador 2, Qatar 0. The result is not a, uh, an upset because uh, uh, it was expected that uh, Qatar would be at a disadvantage. Qatar has not played uh, 
at such an international level before that. Uh, during uh, the ceremony held in opening ceremony of the Football World Cup, CC and Erdogan were seen. Katri Amir facilitated uh, a brief exchange of salutations between Erdogan of Turkey, President of Turkey, and uh, Abdul Fattah al Sisi, President of Egypt. Turkey and Egypt uh, have been rivals in regional politics. In Libya, I remember when I was covering Libya that uh, Egypt and Turkey were on opposite sides. Turkey was backing GNA, Egypt was backing LNA. Uh, Egypt shares border with Libya too. Uh, and uh, a few, I think three to four years ago, uh, in a speech, Erdogan said that he would never meet uh, Sisi. But uh, in Qatar, the two leaders were seen exchange, exchanging salutations. Qatar is Turkey's ally. Because Turkey has a military base in Qatar. Arab countries led by Saudi Arabia tried to lay siege to Qatar a few years ago. Back then, Turkey supported Qatar. So, Qatar is uh, Qatar Turkey relations are very friendly. Qatar tried to facilitate normalization of ties between uh, Egypt and Turkey. That is why Qatar Amir played a role in this brief exchange of greetings between the two 